hello you're welcome how to solve for x in this nice algebra equation from what we have here we can write this as t square then raised to power root x then equals to on this side from when we have root a this can be written as a raised to power r then here we can write this as 243 raised to power hex then raised to power half from here then also from here when we apply the law of indices a raised to power m raised to power n is same thing as a raised to power m n that is here this power multiplies and we have 3 raised to power 2 times root x now equals to also here we have 243 now raised to power x over 2 from here and also in the same way let's express 243 as base 3 as well and that gives us 3 raised to power 5 that is 3 multiply itself 5 times we give us 243 that is here we have 3 raised to power 2 root x now equals to 3 raised to power 5 then raised to power x over 2 and also from here this power multiplies on the law of indices and we have 3 raised to power 2 root x now equals to 3 raised to power 5x over 2 from here then here we have same base now then we can equate the power then this give us 2 root x now equals to 5x over 2 and here we can multiply both side by 2 from here then this side by 2 and also this side times 2 here these two we cancel each other then we have 2 times 2 here that's 4 that's 4 times root x now equals to 5x on this side then next day let's square both sides and we have 4 root x then square equals to 5x squared from here as well then here the square will affect 4 so we have 4 square then times also root x squared now equals to here we also have 5 square times x square and when we simplify here, 4 square 4 times 4, that's 16. Then times here, 2 cancel the square root. Then we have 16 times x, now equals to 5 square here, 5 times 5, that's 25. Then times x square. And from here, when we bring everything to one side, here we can take 16x to this side. Then this side we have 25x square then minus 16x now equals to 0 from here then from here we have x common then we factor x out we have x into bracket here remain 25x then here remain minus 16 now equals to 0 from here then here we have two cases the first one we have x equals to 0 or we have 25x minus 16 equals to 0 from here. And here we are already having x equals to 0. Then on this side, taking minus 16 there, we come plus. So we have 25x equals to 16. And divide both sides by 25. From here, 25 cancel each other. And we have x equals to 16 over 25. So we have these two values of x. Then 
let's check to confirm if they satisfy the given problem we have 9 raised to power root x equals to square root of 243 raised to power x now when x equals to 0 we substitute 0 here then this becomes 9 raised to power root 0 is equals to square root of 243 raised to power 0 then here root 0 is still 0 so we have 9 raised to power 0 is equals to here 243 raised to power 0 that will be 1 that's root 1 then here 9 raised to power 0 also that's 1 then equals to root 1 that's 1 left hand side equals to the right hand side so from here x equals to 0 here satisfy the given problem then also we check for x equals to 16 over 25 then here we have 9 raised to power square root of 16 over 25 with this be equals to square root of 243 then raised to power 16 over 25 then on this side here we have root 16 then over root 25 and this can be written as 9 raised to power 4 over 5 with this be equals to here the root here we can change it to raise to power half that is we have 243 then raised to power 16 over 25 which is raised to power 1 over 2 from here and here since this power multiplies 2 here 1 then 2 here that's 8 so this here remain 9 raised to power 4 over 5 now equals to 243 raised to power 8 over 25 and in the same way here we can rewrite 243 as 3 raised to power 5 that is we have 9 raised to power 4 over 5 is this equals to 3 raised to power 5 then raised to power 8 over 25. Then also here, since this power multiply 5 here 1, 5 here 5. And here we have this give us 9 raised to power 4 over 5 is equals to 3 raised to power, here it means 8 over 5. Then here we can also write 9 as 3 square, then raised to power 4 over 5 is equals to 3 raised to power 8 over 5. So excuse me, let's write it up here. Then here, this power also multiplies. So 2 times 4 here, that's 8. So we have 3 raised to power 8 over 5. Now equals to 3 raised to power also 8 over 5 now left hand side equals to the right hand side and hence from here as well s equals to 16 over 25 satisfies the given problem thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more exciting videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up see you next class and bye for now